we're back with more Super Mario Galaxy on Channel 84 Winnipeg. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the first part of the project, and here's to many more successful outings. To start this episode, we're going into the terrace to begin the galaxy search. We've got a lot of power stars to collect, and we don't have all that much time to waste. To tell you the truth, I may not be collecting a whole lot of stars in each particular episode because, given my last time playing this game and my lack of practice, this could take a while. And naturally, we only need one power star to enter our first galaxy. Let's take a look and see what it is. The Good Egg Galaxy. Sadly, no Yoshi. He's detecting star energy and evil energy readings. Whatever. I'm ready for anything. Believe me. And our first star is the token training boss, Dino Piranha. Funny story. When I first played this game and tried fighting this guy, I couldn't move the stick fast enough, I couldn't cut across, and I always ended up getting my ass kicked. Oh, by the way, when the music hits, you're gonna feel really good. Listen. Just those first few notes will make you feel good. It's very iconic. Well, not as iconic as a certain theme from a later galaxy, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. For now, let's just make our way across Good Egg and beat that Dino Piranha back to where he came from. Oh my. I'm starting to get a little hungry. I can't be the only one who thinks that this planet looks like a peanut. Okay, there's one. There's two. The three... Excuse me! Do I tell you how to pleasure other men? Get out of my way! Number four. Now where's five? Ah, there's number five. Now I've got to get out of things way, and fast. Excellent. Got out of there just in the nick of time. Saw it off. Both of you. Cool. Don't really need to make use of these... Excuse me! Go away. I need it for everybody. Thank you. And now for some rock dodging. Yeah, see, those things are being launched out of a cannon further down the path. If you take a hit, it might knock you into the black hole below. Just watch your step, keep your composure, and you'll be just fine. And also make use of these little bays to keep yourself out of harm's way. Easy enough. Anytime now. And just back here, we got a big boy. Got him. And we're just about finished. Go on up the vine. Here. Come here. Got him. Jackpot. Lots of star bits for me. Hey, got an extra life out of the deal. How lovely. Okay. Go the long way so I don't take any unnecessary hits. Miss me. Come on. There we go. That's the way to do it. And now, it's fight time. You crack the shell, and the beast wakes up. Oh. A big ball at the end of a tail. I think it's time to take a page out of the Futurama playbook. Anybody up for some Blurns ball? Crack the shell, and the beast becomes irate. Not like I care, because this thing is a training boss. Strike one! This thing will drop star bits, so collect them if you want. But this thing gets incredibly fast, so watch out for it. 
Strike two! You're a chump. You're an absolute chump. You're out of here! Makes you wonder, how could I have been so bad at this guy way back in the day when this game first came out? I don't think I'll ever know. I guess the answer is, I just was. But like I always say, practice makes perfect. And that's star number two. Way to go, plumber boy. You've done me proud. Okay, back in the terrace. And as soon as we're done here, we're going to get yet another crash course on using the star bits. No, not yet. So he's going to tell us how to use the cursor to shoot star bits. And I guess collect star bits. Okay. Pick them up. And... Take aim. There you go. This is actually very good to know because the next star in Good Egg is going to involve a lot of feeding. So let's go back up and head back to Good Egg Galaxy. Oh, one more star and we can actually open up a new galaxy. But given the fact that this is probably going to be a slow star, I don't think we'll check that new galaxy out in this video. This one's called A Snack of Cosmic Proportions. And there's our prize. And a Hungry Luma. I cannot say it enough, I love this song! Okay, lots of starbits to find. The magic number, I believe, is 100. Yes, give them all to me. Okay, 12 so far, not bad. But I've got a long way to go. You may have noticed that little bits of star bit are falling from the sky, and when they crash, smaller star bits form. That's the ticket. I'm not entirely sure, but I think they actually continuously fall and you can actually grind. But that's not really fun. Wasting enemies and finding star bits lying around is the way to go. We're already at 30, so we're off to a really good start. And when you're bumping question blocks and star bits come out, be fast because the faster you go, the more you can get. And we're already halfway to our goal. So that's great. Thank you very much. 60. Not bad. Not bad at all. This is great. Okay, so we'll go down here. Not a whole lot in terms of star bits down here, but I'm going to show you something really neat. Sometimes when you get these question mark medallions, music notes will grow. Collect them all to get a bonus. If my control was a little smoother... Yeah, plays a familiar tune. There we go. All that for a one-up, but I don't really need it. Let's keep going. Okay, that was sort of a waste of time, but whatever. Now, if we go this way... At least I think it's this way. Oh yeah, we're good. I'll take those. Thank you. Seven. Oh. Can't leave you behind. 26 more to collect. This is looking really good. No, not at all. In fact, I'm actually expecting to do so. There we go. More star bits. 
If you can reach out in the distance to grab some star bits, by all means, go for it. Let's go ahead and practice your aim with the Weaver mode. And a bunch of crystals. Not sure if I'll get enough on this one planet, but I can only hope. Knock, knock. Excellent. Just about done. Three more to go. Nope. Can't go just yet. There we go. The big payoff. 100 star bits. Okay, so I'm going to skip this launch star and land on this island. If for anything... I just want to get a few more star bits. At least this way I can actually bring something back to the observatory. Nice. Okay, let's go. Come on. Now we should land on that egg-shaped planet. And I think I see him off in the distance. Yes, sir. So let's go talk to him. Oh yeah, I've got a few. 100. Okay, aim and shoot. That's right. Eat lots, you'll grow big and strong. Or at least you get really bloated and fat. And the journey continues. A new planet was born. And for some strange reason, I've always had the belief that this particular planet looks like the head of Mr. Peanut from the Planter's Peanut Can. And I'm sure I'm not alone with that one. Ah! Oh, you know what? You go squish now. Oh yeah. Okay, not exactly what I was hoping to do, but... Whatever. There we go. That's the ticket. And now we're going off to that big capsule. Just gotta find where to get in. Not here. I think it's over here. Yes, it is. Too slow. Okay, there we go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, you don't want to get crushed because it's instant death. And we're just about done here. There's our prize. You're expected to get the pull stars. You know what I say? Take a chance. And that's star number three. And by the looks of things, we've actually been going for close to 15 minutes. So unfortunately, I think I'm going to call this one a shorter episode. So we'll get this out of the way. And I guess before I sign off, I will actually take a look at the next galaxy. Okay. Yes, I have. Yeah, I think I'll save. Alright, let's go on up. And let's open Pandora's box. Honey Hive Galaxy. And I guess in the next episode, we'll check it out. So until then, this is JP of Channel 84 Winnipeg, signing off. See you next time!